Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your love and support. We are going to go ahead and get into this reading to see what is going on for you guys. So sit back, relax, and get comfortable. I'll, I hope you guys have been doing well. And I hope that you're finding peace along your journeys. No matter where your journey is leading you, I hope that you are finding and appreciating the blessings that we are all being given at this time, okay? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Be sure to turn post notifications to all, like the video. If you would like to participate in our Dog Days of Summer special, where I am discounting the price of email readings or two for 25s, so to speak, regular pre-recorded readings and Zoom sessions, which have never before been offered, then I would suggest you guys check out the description box below. All of the directions are there, okay? So, Pisces, let's see what is going on with you guys. I miss you. That's what I say to my son when he gets off the bus. I miss you, poo-poo. <laughs> I miss my poo-poos. Let's see what is going on. We're going to do a little makeshift cross, but we're going to let the cards come out first for you, Pisces. So, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, Mother, God, what's the Pisces energy situation messages for Pisces? Okay, so current moment, you are... Oh, Pisces! Why? Eight of Swords. So you are worried about something. Yeah, hangman. You're thinking about something really, really hard. Like, you may be worried about money. You may be worried about a business, partnership, your job. They're definitely, some of you could be feeling stuck at a job. Like, this could be something that you feel like is dead end. Okay. For some of you, I just feel like you're kind of stuck in a position in your life right now that is maybe not the most comfortable position with these, with these cards. And it's something to do with your finances or your job or your career or your business. Money. Okay. You could be in a very difficult financial situation. But what I feel like is going on in the current moment is that Pisces, you are realizing, even though you may be in this Eight of Swords energy, um, it's like you're realizing that the things that are meant to come to you are going to come to you regardless. So like, Number one, I feel like if you're having financial problems or if you're having problems at your job and it's starting to make you stressed or give you anxiety or feel like there's no way out, it's like you may feel like there's no way out, but I feel like you're starting to realize that there's always a way out. That's what I feel. So if you're having financial difficulties and you can't find a job or you are having trouble finding a new job, it's like you're realizing that the blessings are going to be brought to you if you do the work like brought to you by spirit this message has been brought to you by wow so some sponsorship something is sponsored or you may be being sponsored a company may want to work with you okay maybe you could be worried because you were waiting on this news to come in um or you were just waiting it's like you you guys were worried about something coming to you either money a job an opportunity but it's like the stress that you were under or the stress that you were putting yourself under because the Eight of Swords is you. It's all you, baby. Um, but the stress that you were putting yourself under or the perspective that you had needed to change so that you could realize that everything comes to you when it needs to in the right time. And I feel like you guys are making that realization. It's like Part of you is realizing that you have to do what you have to do to get what it is that you want. You can't just sit around and wait for blessings. And part of you guys are starting to get, you know, some some peace or you're starting to 
retrieve some type of blessings coming in or feel like you know something is going to come in. So there's less stress involved. Okay, what's blocking Pisces right now? The emperors. Yeah, so some of you may feel like you're stuck at a dead-end job or you're stuck working a job with a manager who's really difficult, maybe really controlling. This person may micromanage you or just be over your shoulder a lot. Okay. Now, if this is not about your work, Pisces, when we saw that hangman in the three of, pin three of pinnacles a minute ago, if I could speak, I don't know. Somebody may be speaking to you, but they're stuttering. Okay. It's like they can't get their words out clearly. Um, this may be you as well, having trouble articulating yourself. There's someone who's having trouble articulating themselves and saying what it is that they really want to say. I don't know if that's because they want to protect another person's feelings or if that's just because they are nervous, anxious, and I feel like that could be the case. So it could be you or it could be someone else, right? But it's like someone is having trouble articulating how they feel or articulating their thoughts in a cohesive way so that other people can understand. Um, and some of you may be in a situation where you are worried about someone possibly putting you in a third party situation, or you are worried about a third party situation in some way, shape or form. So this could be with coworkers. You could be worried about what your coworkers are saying to your boss. You could be worried about maybe what friends or so-called friends or a social group is saying behind your back. You could also be contemplating if a person who you are interested in or attracted to in some way is being loyal to you or if they are deciding to work with other people or deal with someone else. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is a boss that you have. For some of you, this could be a spouse, your husband. Okay. Um, for some of you, this could be you um, trying to get something off of the ground a business or a project that you just started and you are worried about whether or not maybe you're going to get sponsorships or some type of business funding um, or whether or not people are going to take you seriously and actually patronize you in some way. But I feel like you're realizing that the right people are going to come to you. So if it's a situation about your business and money, you're realizing that if you started this project, the people will come. Okay. Some of you are realizing that a person or, or finding out that a person is dealing with other people or they're talking about you at work, something like that. Okay, let's see what else. Let's see the recent past for Pisces. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for being here, Pisces. Okay, what's the recent past for Pisces? I knew that shit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. But if y'all run it back, you will see it at the bottom of the deck. I knew it was going to be the one that came out. The Seven of Swords. So it's like you're progressing through whatever this difficult situation is. There's something that's been mentally draining you or there's something that has been mentally like <sighs> encapsulating your mind. Like you're just thinking about this all the time. There's something or someone that you just can't get off your mind. There's a situation that you just can't stop thinking about or analyzing. And I feel like it's like you're trying to figure out how to get out of a situation. In the recent past, you could have definitely been trying to find a new job. If you have a manager that's very overbearing or you have someone who is extremely like micromanaging or rude, controlling, it's like you've been trying to strategize about how to get out of this situation. But some of you guys may have been in a situation where you couldn't leave the job right now because you need the money and you didn't have anything else. Or the other options where you applied, nothing was really coming through. So it's like that divine timing is giving you some type of relief or some type of peace. I feel like you're being forced to observe the rules of the universe and you guys are making peace with that shit. You're like, it is what it is. Okay. You could have also, you could have also caught someone in a lie or witnessed some type of sneaky behavior from a person with the seven of swords. Um, I don't know if there was someone who was trying to. It's like, 
you know what I feel with this eight of swords and then the devil is at the bottom and the wheel of fortune. Wow. There could have been someone who was trying to steal your attention in some way or trying to distract you. I really feel like there was someone here who was trying to distract you um, or like have you in your head about something. They could have been having you in your head about like how long it was taking you to do something. Like just say you have a business, you're getting something new off the ground. You're starting a new project. You could have had someone around you, a coworker, a friend or a family member maybe even your spouse who was kind of uh, critiquing everything that you were doing. It's like they were nitpicking at every single little thing that you were doing. And they were trying to possibly distract you with their problems, their issues, or they were maybe trying to distract you by, you know, giving you some type of underhanded comment. Okay. Gabriel, Gabriel, can you go in your brother's room for me, please? I love you, baby, but you, I, I asked you before I got on here and I was like, are you going to be able to be quiet? And you say yes. So if you want to play right here, you could play right here, but I need you to keep it a little quieter. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, how about you look, take puppy and take monkey, mon your monkey and go in your room, go in your brother's room or go in your room and. Just play for a little while in there because your brothers are going to be back home really soon, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. I love you, baby. Come get me if you need me. Y'all, listen. I'm going to tell y'all something. I really don't be trying to hurt his feelings. And he likes when I shuffle. Like He, watch it. he likes watching me do the cards. That's fine, right? To me, I think that he's going to be good at that, right? But he comes in here and he wants to get next to the camera. And sometimes if I have it set up a certain way, he wants to shake the camera. And he's just really loud. And you tell him over and over again to be quiet. He don't know. I mean, or he's just doing it on purpose. But I know he wants attention. He's the type of child who wants all the attention on him all the time. He's an Aries. And he has to learn how to respect other people. And understand that everything is not always about him. Okay, but carry on. Um, there definitely could have been someone who was just trying to distract you here. I feel like I feel like there was someone who was trying to get you really attached to them. Okay, I don't know what this means for for you guys individually. They could have been using sex. They could have been using like some type of substance. Um, they may have been texting you a lot, like love bombing you, things like that. But it's like someone wanted you to be extremely attached to them for whatever purposes that they had in mind, okay? And I feel like you're realizing that this person has been possibly, you know, entertaining other people, uh, entertaining other situations, just putting something above you and whatever business or connection that you guys have going on together, okay? That's what I feel like happened in the recent past. I feel that you um, decided to move forward from this or you decided to move on from this. It's just like someone was wasting a lot of your time or they were wanting to have sex all the time or they were always wanting to smoke all the time, you know, and the whatever this is, like if you do those things with this person, it takes away time, energy and effort that you have for whatever it is that you're trying to create. Okay. And it's like, I feel like you discovered that someone was being sneaky or you realized what they were trying to do when it comes to your work. Um, and I don't know, like if you have a boss that micromanages you, it's like they tell, it seems like this is the type of situation where they tell you to do one thing, you start doing it and then they call your name a bunch of fucking times and then you can't get it done. And then Later on, they ask you, well, did you get this done? Well, no, bitch, because I, I was trying to answer all your damn questions, okay? For some of you, this could have been someone who you were interested in or extremely attracted to. Um, this could have been an earth sign. I'm getting like Taurus energy with this emperor. Could have been Capricorn as well. I'm not getting as much of Virgo, 
but I feel like there was a Taurus or a Capricorn or an Aries possibly who was trying to monopolize a lot of your time or what I feel like they were doing, whatever that devil was, I don't know if it was sex, drugs, money, rock and roll. I don't know what the fuck it was, but whatever they were doing excessively, um, to draw you in, it's like, I feel like they had some type of complex in their mind, like they could control you or that you were going to do whatever they said, okay? What's crowning for Pisces? The magician. So you're definitely manifesting. You're thinking about your manifestations. You're thinking about what it is that you want to create, okay? Whatever, whatever you want to create, that is what's on your mind a majority of the time. But I feel like whoever this person is, like, I don't know. It's like they 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 have you worried or they have you stressed out or they have you feeling as if you're stuck in a situation that you can't get out of, but you really can. It's just the way you're looking at it. It's your perspective, which I, which I believe is changing because whatever this energy is, you shifted away from it or you decided like time is up or you changed your mind. And I feel like someone could be angry about this. Gemini energy is coming out here strong. We could have a Gemini, an Aquarius, an Aries, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Okay. You know what? I really do feel, I feel like someone was trying to come in here and like get in your head, Pisces. And with this energy here with the lovers and the knight of swords and the magician being your, your crowning energy, like you are aware of your manifestations you're like, look, things are not getting done the way I was doing it before. I need to change my strategy. So this could just be all talking about you changing your strategy, making a choice to either speak up, making a choice to go after what you want vigorously, overcome obstacles. But it's like you're realizing that the way that you were going about a situation has to change. And I feel like with the magician card, you are either realizing that you have to make that change now or you are in the process of creating the change that you want to see either in this situation or in your life. So if there was a romantic interest that was trying to distract you with drugs, sex, money, whatever, I feel like you turn the tables on. I, I feel like there was a turning of the tables. I feel like you made a choice to tell this person how you feel. And that in turn cleared your mind to manifest again or to get out of this eight of swords energy. It's like you just have to get control of your thoughts. Because I feel like you guys had some, you know, little lurking thoughts in your mind that were really unproductive. Um, and it could be either about this person and that affected your business or your career. Or it could just be about your finances, which was ultimately affecting the same things. Or it just could have been a situation where, like, you know, you saw the repercussions of your actions or possibly the repercussions of other people's actions because they were around you affecting what you were manifesting. What's at the bottom? Oh, wow. Nine of Swords in reverse. Because this is your ultimate goal. I feel like you just don't want to be worried about a situation. You don't want to be ashamed of yourself. You don't want to feel like a failure. Or this is someone else. I mean, if this is not your energy, it could be someone around you. But there's a lot of air sign energy, strong Gemini, really. Okay. The seven of wands and the three of cups. Yeah. I feel like some of you could be cutting off a third party situation with someone. Uh, with the king of pentacles, this person could have been married. You may have even known that they were married and you still was dipping in, you know, dipping a toe. Listen, I told y'all, I don't judge, but I feel like it's a situation where you're like, oh, okay, maybe let me try this out and see how I feel. And then you've tried it out and saw how you felt. And then you was like, hell no, nah. <laughs> hell no, nah. oh, oh, no, take that shit on, take that shit and get it out of my face. That's what I feel like. Mm -mm. I'm done with this. I feel like somebody has somebody in your face or like, cause I just, I didn't even know I said, take that shit and get it out of my face. I didn't mean to say that. Like it was just subconscious. So I feel like maybe somebody was cheating on you or cheating with you in front of somebody else's face. Somebody could have been trying to use you to make someone else jealous 
or they could have been using someone else to try to make you jealous. You could have been dealing with somebody who was married. They brought their wife around or they brought their husband around. Okay. Or the, whoever they were in a committed relationship with. Um, or this could have been a situation where somebody just brought, brought a third party around. And you like, uh-uh. Look, what you do behind clothes. Because this is my thing, Pisces. I'm a very like, okay, I have Aquarius Venus. So I'm a very progressive. Like when, when it comes to love, I'm really progressive. I really feel like I'm a pansexual, but you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily take it that far. Like I really don't put a label on myself cause I don't fucking like labels, but I really love everybody depending on what you bring to the table. It really doesn't matter to me what you look like. It's more about what your spirit is. And then with the Aquarius it's very like vicarious. So, I mean, you can say what you want to say about it, but I know the way that I am. I would not be like mad at anybody for who they want to be with or like what they want to do, especially if we're just dating or talking or it's casual, right? Because this is what I feel. I feel like there was a casual situation, okay, with the three of pentacles and the three of cups. There's definitely a third party here, okay? So I feel like there was a casual situation and it's like, that's cool for a lot of you. But it's like when when you when you then go and take it to the level of disrespecting me or like putting something in my face to make me feel some type of way or even if you don't intend to make me feel some type of way, it's like you're just not reading the room enough to understand that what you're doing is disrespectful or hurtful, then I really don't have nothing to do with you. And I feel like that's what you did. Like, I don't know if somebody called you out in a meeting at work and like threw you under the bus, but it feels like a kind of like a sabotage type of situation. Okay, where someone was trying to sabotage your work or they were trying to sabotage your emotions or your feelings. And I just feel like it was a giant red flag because whatever other red flags that you may have seen may or may not have seen before. It's like you they weren't really that big of a deal because everybody's red flags are different. Okay, everybody gauges uh, concerns differently. So whatever this person was doing or or whatever the situation was, it's like I feel like before it wasn't totally bad. Like you could kind of disregard what was going on and brush it off and it wasn't fucking bothering you. But it's like somebody took something, they took it too far. They took this shit way too far. And you were like, oh, hold up. <laughs> uh, Cause what we not gonna do, Pisces say it with me, what we not gonna do. Cause they took it too far. Like they brought someone, I don't know. Like maybe you found out somebody was married. They brought your, they brought their wife around you. And you like, why the fuck would you? <sighs> I'm irritated. Or or maybe somebody, you know, you were dating them and, you know, they know where you hang out, right? But they ended up bringing somebody like, okay, if you went out on a date with somebody to a place or you go to a place that somebody knows you go to frequently, they could have brought someone else there to like rub something in your face or to make you jealous. What's in the near future? Okay, Pisces, near future energy, Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So I feel like in the near future, some of you could be getting some type of payment. Um, you know, your payroll, your regular payroll check, you getting paid. Okay, or you may um, you may just be deciding to kind of stay in the house um, and, and, and fall back. Right. Because of this situation, some of you guys may be requesting like work from home. Uh, options because you just want to keep your cool but whatever this is that's coming up in the near future um however you are responding to a situation because i don't think that you're allowing yourself to react and i'm very proud of you pisces you are no longer allowing other people to force you to react you are more so responding after careful consideration of a situation so you've assessed the circumstances and now you're choosing to take the most productive course of action and I feel like this is because of the maturity that you could have gained over the last 10 months 10 years 10 weeks whatever you've progressed a lot I changed a lot DJ Khaled like okay because you've become very mature and even though you may want to slap somebody upside their head for the for the pure and unmitigated audacity that they have to be doing whatever they're doing you like look <laughs> you got it Y'all got it. If anybody's bringing anyone in your face, it's kind of like a situation like you're bowing out. 
You're not going to be in competition. You're going to stay in the house. If somebody wants to bring their other, you know, liaisons to the places that you go to or to the places that they know you're going to be, you're just going to take a break for a, a little while. You may take, you know, the next few months to just kind of regroup yourself and just fall off the scene because I feel like that's your way of releasing yourself from this burden or that's your way of the magician. That's what I was saying earlier. It's like you turn the tables on them. Oh, wow. So shit, they took it too far and now Pisces is turning the tables. And I feel like you're putting the... Uh, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords energy back on them because you wanted to alleviate yourself of whatever this Eight of Swords energy is. You're taking control of the situation. And I don't even think this Eight of Swords is really current anymore. I feel like with the Emperor, you're taking control of that. Okay, you're keeping that anxiety under control and you're realizing the manipulation that could be going on in this situation. So you realize if your boss is trying to throw you under the bus in front of your coworkers... <sighs> Excuse me. You're realizing that this person just wants to get a rise out of you. So you're not allowing it to happen. So you may be requesting a transfer. You may be requesting to work from home. You may be taking some PTO or leave of absence or something like that. But in the near future, I feel like you're going to be spending a lot of time at home. Relaxing. And not really saying much of anything like you, you're, I feel like this is Virgo energy, the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like you're kind of going to be hermiting. Um, and, and in essence, that choice, that response is kind of flipping it back onto this person. Okay. The cherry in the near future and the, and the temperance. Yeah. You're taking some time to rest, regroup. Okay. Balance yourself back out because I feel like somebody tried to get you out your character for a minute. Cancer energy, Sagittarius, again, the signs, Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini strongly, possibly Aries, but I feel more like a Taurus or a Capricorn is this emperor, okay? Because you're moving forward, you're not allowing people to respond. I feel like you put an end to this, okay? And I feel like it was the right thing for you to do. I feel like you told someone, especially if this is like a third party romantic situation, that you're aware of or that it was made aware to you of what was going on you're like look i don't like the way you just brought that motherfucker in my face like that like it's okay if you do what you want to do because that's what i was saying earlier pisces i'm not the type of person to judge anybody you can date who you want to date you can be with who you want to be with if we're not in a committed relationship but don't throw that shit in my face and try to make me feel jealous and that's what i feel like somebody did but you didn't respond the way that they thought. So it's like you flipped that energy. Whatever they were trying to project onto you, you flipped it back onto them. And I feel like you ended the situation. And now you're trying to get your energy back right so that you can continue to move on and learn, you know, whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing. Okay. What's the Seven of Swords for Pisces? What is the Seven of Swords? Nine of Wands. What else? Ooh. Ooh, so I don't know if somebody was trying to sneak off and do something behind your back. I, I just feel like somebody was being sneaky. They were being sneaky. They were being selfish and they were being borderline abusive. Okay. Trying to make you afraid. Um, trying to make you feel like you can't say anything. I don't know what this is. It's like, it feels like somebody was trying to back you in a corner by being manipulative in some way that's eight swords so i feel like somebody was trying to put you in this energy but what i really feel is crazy the crazy part when you began to be because you know we can't necessarily control what other people do right but we can identify it and then we can take a, the you know the the necessary action we can act accordingly and i feel like you realize because that's what i feel like this emperor is you're in control of this eight of swords or you're realizing that you need to gain control of it but what i feel like someone did was they tried to i don't know cheat or they tried to throw someone else in your face or put you in a very uncomfortable situation with this nine of wands to get you into this energy and you didn't respond the way that they thought so now like i said that see 
this king of pentacles this taurus I, and then i just said taurus it's got to be a taurus for a lot of y'all it's definitely a taurus for some of you guys it's a capricorn for some of you guys it's a gemini and for some you know you may be the one with cancer or sagittarius in your chart or it could be that sign as well okay You know, and I also feel like whatever this person did, this Queen of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Wands and the Seven of Swords, that's you in the recent past. It possibly could be you just blocking them. They didn't know what happened. It could also be you telling them off and being like, look, whoever this person is, they're married. This King of Pentacles is married. So it might be you, might be someone else. Okay. But it's like you told this person, look, I don't want nothing to do with this shit you got going on right here because I don't like the way that you did that. I don't like the way that you handled yourself in that situation. It was either very immature and childish or very selfish or just very hurtful, maybe even possibly dangerous. Okay. Or you found out that they had a spouse and you're like, look, I'm not cheating on, I'm not cheating with you. You're not going to use me to try to make your husband or your wife jealous. That's just not what's going to happen. Okay, and if they try to make you jealous with someone else, it's like, I feel like you stood up to this person and, and told them, you know, you're not, you're not about to look, I know what you're doing. It's like you identified it. So I don't know. It just feels like a very, um, it feels like a very underhanded situation. It feels like a situation where someone is be being very, um, arrogant. Okay. What's the magician? The Wheel of Fortune. Exactly. That's why that devil and the Wheel of Fortune came out together. Because you're coming into a point. You're moving towards this Wheel of Fortune energy. Like being back in balance. Doing the right thing. Understanding what karma that you're creating. Um, and trying to rectify it. And shifting yourself away from that negative toxic energy. That I feel like someone was trying to bring into your life. Okay. And I feel like you are transmuting this situation and using this situation as fuel or motivation. Maybe you're putting it in your lyrics. Maybe you are discussing it with people um, to, you know, just speak on whatever you have to say. Okay. I feel like someone either was trying to shut you up and prevent you from saying something that you're going to say anyway. Or it's just a situation where the energy that you felt from whatever someone did is now being taken and used for your benefit. Okay. Yeah. And there's the hermit. See, taking time aside reflecting on the situation, reflecting on what's really important and investing energy in what's important and making sure you save a little bit for yourself, like, and not letting people drain you. It's like, you're being patient. You're, you're seeing this situation for what it is. You're not overreacting. I don't think you really cut somebody out, but some of y'all could have definitely done that. And you may feel bad about it now. I mean, just be careful what you say to people. But I also just feel like you kind of, I don't even think you really cussed them out. I just think that you may have told them that you were aware of their game. Some of you may, maybe uh, told this person this and blocked them. Some of you may have told them this and told them that you don't want to deal with it if that's what it's going to be. And you, some of you could be waiting for a response. Okay, that might be why you're in the Eight of Swords energy. What's this Eight of Swords and the Emperor? The Six of Swords. Yeah. It's like you realize what this person was trying to do by them being in this really sneaky, like doing these sneaky maneuvers, you know? And instead of moving into the Nine of Swords upright, you're moving into the Nine of Swords reverse. So it's like you're ahead of the game. See? And there's that devil again. There's that devil again. You're trying to control yourself. There's some type of toxic energy. I don't know. Maybe you're afraid of leaving this person for financial reasons. Maybe you're afraid of telling this person how you feel because maybe you feel like they're not going to want to deal with you anymore. But I feel like they're doing you dirty. Some of you, it could be some type of substance that they are providing either sexually or, you know, physically with a substance. But it's like you're trying to find the courage 
to take yourself away from this temptation. Something is very tempting. And I feel like that's how this person articulated it. Like, that's how they set it up. They wanted you to be tempted. They wanted you to feel the urge so that you would be fiending for something. It's like a, it's like a fucking addict. So I don't know if this is a, uh, you know, a medicinal provider, you know, an independent medicinal provider that's got you stuck. I don't know if this is somebody who's married, who, you know, gave you some, you know, good, good stuff and got you stuck, but that's what the plan was. That's what they wanted you to do. But I don't really feel like you're stuck though. That's the thing. You are being given information with the six of swords about what's going down and you're avoiding that situation entirely. It's like, as soon as you got a whiff of that eight of swords, you already know Pisces what that feels like. And you was out of there. Okay. You know how they say in there, like swimwear, you was out of there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to rhyme it with, but you was out of there. What's the nine of swords? The hermit. Exactly. So, and, and this, I feel like, look, look at y'all. I'm so proud of y'all. This could be something happening to a Virgo um, or any of the signs that I call, but I'll tell you all the signs again at the end. But this, I feel like this is a situation where you have experienced this. You're learning a lesson. How you're handling this is, you know, very mature. I feel like you didn't even, that's why I feel like you didn't cut somebody out. I just feel like maybe they were afraid that you were going to say something or they thought you weren't going to say anything. And you just very calmly and maturely said what it is that you have to say, identifying what it is that they were doing. And I feel like they're going to come towards you because they're ashamed. So whoever you called out, whoever you spoke your truth on very respectfully, very maturely, very professionally, you're there. You're going to let them know like what's up if you haven't done it, but I think you already did. And then they're going to come back trying to apologize, okay? I feel like you may have ghosted someone, but it was to prevent you from being in this energy, okay? Because someone had you, someone was, it, it's like, I did it to you so you couldn't do it to me. Because you knew that that was going to happen. And I'm not saying you should walk around with that type of attitude, but I really do feel like this is a very responsible reading. I don't think that you're just overreacting. I feel like you knew what was going on. Yeah, eight of wands and the four of cups. You're like, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with this. This is going nowhere. And it's because I'm cutting it off right now. I'm done. I'm done buying from you. I'm done working with you. I'm done, you know, dealing with you, whatever it is, or I'm done talking to you while we're at work. Don't talk to me. Just let me do my work and go home. I feel like this person, whoever you told this to and ended it, they are dissatisfied. They don't want it to go down like this. Okay. They do not want it to go down like this. Okay. What else is the nine of swords in reverse? Five of pentacles. You definitely ghosted a motherfucker. Pisces, you ghosted them or they ghosted you. But I feel like you ghosted them. And I feel like that the reason why I say that is because you got this magician in this wheel of fortune. It's like spirit told you what the fuck was up. Spirit was like, get out now. Okay. Because you were sick of that shit. You felt unappreciated. You felt like somebody didn't appreciate you. It, or it's like they weren't treating you with the respect that you deserve. Like, especially if somebody was trying to throw someone else in your face. You were like, what? Me? <laughs> you got me fucked up. Okay. Yeah, and you were, it's like, whatever you expected to happen, it's like you didn't get what you wanted or you didn't get what you thought it was going to be. But I feel like that situation, you were never going to get what you wanted because this person manufactured this situation to transpire in a certain way. But because you refused to be played, it didn't go the way they wanted it to go. So you may feel like you didn't get what you want, but really they didn't get what they want. And that that's just a projection onto you. What's the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups? Queen, ooh. So the Queen of Wands, it was in the upright, then it flipped in the reverse, but let's see. What else is the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Cups? Two of Pentacles, one more. Oh, look at how it landed, y'all. I swear. Knight of Swords in reverse. Ooh. 
Ooh. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands and we have the Knight of Cups. So some of you might be in the near future trying to hold yourself back. I feel like that's what that is. That's why the Queen of Wands came out in reverse with the Knight of Swords reverse. Y'all are trying to really hold yourself back from telling someone how you really feel. Okay. Um, and then you may be blocking someone who is um, trying to cuss you out for what you decided to do. I don't know. But it's like you're sitting here like, damn, should I go and cuss them out? Should I go and give them a piece of my mind? And I feel like you're deciding no. Okay. I also feel like whoever this person is who tried to manufacture this situation where you were thinking about them, stuck on them, they were wasting your time. I feel like this person feels extremely uh, insecure now. I feel like they're feeling insecure because number one, how they treated you, they know you don't deserve that. And number two, how you responded is embarrassing them, okay? I feel like they're also going to be trying to contact you, but you've already blocked them or you've already cut it off. Um, you are no longer interested in that, okay? Be mindful that someone may be trying to in the near future tell you about yourself like i feel like you guys are like damn i really want to tell this person about themselves but i'm gonna be mature and i'm not gonna do it right it's something that you're restraining yourself from doing so either you could be thinking of giving them a piece of your mind and you're gonna choose not to because it's you know it's more mature for you to choose not to and then you could also be coming in contact with someone who's going to try to come and give you a piece of their mind okay this could be a gay man or an LGBTQ man. Um, or this could be a, a very, I don't know, like a woman who's in her masculine energy. It just feels like, I, I don't think it's a gay woman. Well, it could be. Uh, but it could also be someone who is just, has a really big attitude. They have a really big ego. And like I said earlier, it seems like you, it's, it's like, Shots have been fired at this person's ego, but you didn't mean to. You were just protecting yourself from whatever they were trying to victimize you in doing, okay? What else? What other energy is surrounding your situation for Pisces? Safe, yep. You protected yourself from whatever this storm is. A lot of y'all sense that this would be drama or that somebody is drama, whether it's a friend, a coworker, a family member, or this like spouse or romantic partner, you knew that somebody was going to be drama. And it's like, you tried to give them a chance, but they're just proving you right. And you're just not dealing with it. Okay. Okay. We have love romantic. So this definitely could be about uh, a romantic connection. Some of you could be in a love relationship or married or romantically involved. And there could be someone who's trying to like come after your spouse, but I don't think your spouse is like, I don't think your spouse is doing anything. I feel like they're trying to remain faithful with the Hierophant and the King of Pentacles, but it just depends on your situation. Um, some of you could have a friend or a coworker. I don't know. Somebody's taking shots about your relationship. If you're in a partnership and you're safe and in love. They could be trying to take shots at your relationship with your partner and you make you feel insecure about it. Yeah, inadequate. That's the other one that flipped out. So like there could be someone talking shit about you and your spouse at work um, or gossiping about you behind your back to make you feel insecure about your relationship. There could be a friend who is or so-called friend in a social group who is making you feel insecure about relationships Um there could also be someone I feel like you may, you're you're possibly making someone feel very insecure and inadequate because you protected yourself from predatory behavior. That's really what I feel. It's like you're looking for love that you feel safe in and somebody did not make you feel safe, so you kicked them to the curb and now they feel inadequate in a situation. We have creative and then we have lonely. So a lot of you guys are creative people. You create, you build, you know, you, you, you just, you just manifest 
beautiful things that come from your heart that you're very passionate about. And I feel like you guys are finding out that it's a very lonely life. I mean, I feel because, because look at how your light is shining. This little lonely child is by themselves because their light is shining so bright, so brightly. All these other people are dull and dim. It's because your light shines so brightly with this creativity that you oftentimes feel alone. So don't feel like you're alone because you're not. It's a lot of people out there that are like that. Myself included. I've had husbands, boyfriends, friends, family members be jealous and mad at me just because I am who I am. So, you know, it comes with the territory, Pisces. It's just, I feel like a lot of you guys realize this and a lot of you guys are in a position and in, in, in an emotional place right now with this King of Cups where you are aware of it and it doesn't upset you anymore. Like in the past, it could have been a situation where you were like, your feelings were hurt because you're like, why are people treating me like this? Well, they're treating you like that because you shine so brightly and they're jealous. Um, and I feel like a lot of you guys have come to terms with that. You've accepted it and you're no longer allowing it to change the way that you feel about yourself. So honestly, I really feel like your energy is really smooth in this. Like, I, I really don't feel like you are in this eight of swords. I don't feel like you're going to be in this nine of swords because you're taking preventative action to anticipate the situation and act accordingly um, with dignity, with respect, with class. And somebody can't handle it and they're salty. Okay. Salty like a bag of Lay's potato chips, bitch. What's the advice for Pisces, guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors? Yep. Don't take the bait. So I also feel like this person is going to come back around talking about, okay, we have the 11 here. They're going to be talking about soulmate shit. Then you got the 22 right here, you know, guidance. I feel like you're being guided not to take the bait, not to be baited into an argument. You're being guided not to be baited into a situation where you're going to feel insecure to boost someone else up because I feel like this was a situation with a very insecure person. They came into the situation insecure and they target confident people um, and, and kind of try to knock them down a peg to make themselves feel better about themselves. And I don't care who it is. It could be anybody. But it's like they may come off very smooth and they may have a slick tongue in more than one way, okay? But they try to like build up and boost up their own self-esteem and confidence by bringing someone else down or putting someone else down or manufacturing situations where people feel insecure because of them and it makes them feel like they're on top. So keep that in mind because I feel like spirit is telling you don't take the bait because this person is trying to like bait you in. They're trying to get you on this hook, hook, line and sinker, baby. They're, they're trying to get you on that hook so they can drag you around everywhere. And you're being guided to go against the grain and to not do what people want you to do. Do what you feel like you need to do. Okay, Pisces. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. As always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to participate in the Dog Days of Summer special, everything's below. Remember, this is our circle booze. Bye.